Embracing technologies is happening across the board, and it's helping everyone. Um, um, it's, there's a whole movement on what they call, and there's different terms for it, but universal design for learning, making sure environments are accessible for everyone, and it will help everyone. For example, from an architectural standpoint, um, when you go to the airport and the, the doors open for you and you're carrying your kid and you've got your bags behind you, that's helpful um, for you. So, and it's designed to help someone with a physical limitation to be able to get through that, or a curve cup for example, or if you're sitting in a restaurant and you're looking up at a monitor and you see captioning go across. These are, these are, these are strategies and, and things that are incorporated in our environment now that, that everyone just kind of expects. And we're seeing the same thing happen in education, in the workplace. Um, speech recognition, for example, is you, know, you, you call in uh, on your phone to your bank and you check your bank account, you may use speech recognition. Um, so it's embedded in, in all aspects of, of life right now. So what we're finding is that students are more accepting of it, um, and that's been, that's been great to see. Well, I was diagnosed in the second grade with, with a learning disability, and it, it took many years for me to truly understand what that was all about. For years, I thought I was really just stupid. Um, the teachers were trying to help me out. My parents were trying to help me out. They were spending, my parents were spending just an amazing amount of time sitting around a dining room table helping me read. I talked funny, I read things the wrong way, and I, and I, and I, and I wasn't a strong writer or speller at all. So it, it took many years before technology really helped in, in, in order for me to truly grasp that I could learn like everyone else, that I wasn't stupid. And I, it took a while for my self-confidence to build up because I kept hearing that the, the yellow boy who rode the small buses and, and with other people, was around other people with disabilities. I didn't get why I was so different. So it, that, that, that was challenging for me, but eventually with the technology and good support system, I was able to, to actually come out of that and, and be successful in my job and go back and not only get a college degree, but go and get my post-secondary degree and, and become a doctor in a field that, that I love. And if it wasn't for the technology, that wouldn't have happened. Um, I still struggle. The technology, there's not a magic pill. It doesn't solve everything. Um, but it does, um, it does help me um, um, level the playing field. It, it does help me, um, at the end of the day, not be so tired and worn out and achieve the things that I want to achieve. And that, that's, been, um, that, that's been a dream of mine. Assistive technology or learning tools, um, whichever way you want to call them, provides independence. So my goal throughout the day is to be independent. I, I want to make sure that I can do things. I don't have to rely on other people. So these technologies allow for that. It provides a, men, a, a freedom to, to hopefully succeed in school, as well as to be involved in, in social environments, such as knowing what's going on in current events, politics, religion as well as from a work environment down the road as they transition to that. So technology is, is, is crucial in these students' lives. I think technology and how fast it's moving, specifically with speech recognition, um, is changing the way the um, schools are handling their students um, across the board. And, and, and we are getting more of a universal design environment that helps everyone. We're still seeing a lot of the vendors out there that, that there's, there's a standalone software um, that, that, they, that does some really great stuff. These are assistive technology vendors. But, but we're seeing that more and more embedded into these operating systems. So yeah, I think that um, uh, over the next decade, we're going to see some, some amazing things happening.